So Fred, you just brought up a great point. So now go back to where you were talking about believing in yourself, believing in information, believing in dedication, having a spiritual foundation. You got to work with all four of those. You just can't work with one of them. Well, unfortunately, everybody don't start from that. We're working all four of them. Rory. Part of it is to grow into that. There's a lot of people that are on, on healthy diets and they're not, they're not into a spiritual life. And that's part of the reason. So most people have to grow into that. You don't start, you don't start, uh, my estimation people really, that's like starting from the top. You have to have your own experience. It's very easy to take another person's experience and be able to speak about it, but it's one thing to have the head knowledge and not to have the experience. A lot of people have a lot of head knowledge but they don't have the real experience. The, the important thing is the experience really ends up giving you the head knowledge. The head knowledge won't be superficial. You have to have the experience to give you the head knowledge that has value. There's a lot of people read up, you can read this book. This book is not going to give you all the experience. It's going to give you, it's going to help you start. That's what it's going to do. It's, this book is just scattering a few seeds, that's all. You, if anybody reads this book and they grow from this book, they're going to have a good life. Not that I'm trying to sell anybody a book, but this book, you know, it'll give you, give you the direction you have to go. To start out with the head's knowledge without the experience, it can be done, but you're better off to have the experience and then have the, the real profound head knowledge. Head knowledge is, a lot of people go to school and they don't do nothing with their education. When they, when they go to, if, some, if somebody goes out, goes to Cornell or some great school, that education does not really develop till they get out there into the real world, where they're, going, where they're educated in business, no matter what they're educated in. When you go out into the business world, there's a lot of people who got great educations, but they're not successful in the business world. They don't make it, even though they might have a great education in, in, the, in the business arena. Like most of the people go to Warden School of Business, they come out, they're pretty successful. That school knows how to get you, get you up and running. It's the same thing. See, that's why I practice nutrition the way I do. I don't just have people come in and give them, uh, you know, give them a diet to go by. Because what can be accomplished is not that easily understood in the beginning. So I use, always did, use a hands-on approach. I used to speak to people constantly. A hands-on approach was, I was taking my experience, whether it was clinical, my lifestyle experience, and going, you're going working off the bottom line what works and what doesn't work. I was uh, giving them, uh, trying to pass my experience on to those people. The, they were the people that were very successful. The people that just come in and, and get the, you know, read the book or take the, my workbook and walk off, not too many of those people really uh, are really successful. In fact, I, very, I would say very few. But people that make it a lifestyle, people that want to learn and grow and avail themselves of uh, positive information, from not only from me, from other people that are walking the same journey and trying to show people the same thing, they're the people that are going to be very successful and they're the people that are going to be showing other people how to do this you know, now and in the future. That's the key. You gotta have the you gotta have the experience. You have to it's in order to be to teach somebody really how to do something, the more experience you have, along with the right head knowledge, then you're gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna be uh, very, very successful. And it's not it's not a question to uh, I believe a person that's a good teacher or a good counselor, it's not about cloning people. When somebody comes to see me, how I look at it, um, <clears throat> they're, they're coming to see me and I am an instrument of their fulfillment. They're not coming to see me for me to clone them, to make them believe what I believe, to uh, substantiate what I'm saying, or to make me feel good about myself. That's, to me, that's ridiculous. That's all nonsense. When somebody comes to see me, I have, a, I have a, um, a purpose to fulfill in it. My purpose is to fulfill their desire for coming to see me in, in, in the healthiest and, and the best way that I possibly can.
Otherwise, if you know, I see loads of people. That you can see they're up there. They're, they're just, you know, they're not really interested in the outcome for that person. That's the way I feel about it. I am truly interested in the outcome of the person that comes to see me. I'll work as hard as I possibly can within reason uh, to help them uh, be successful in, their, in, their, in the pursuit of their journey. I really will work that hard because I believe that's all about. Otherwise, then this is sheer hypocrisy, what I'm saying. If I don't do that and I'm just saying it to sound, make it sound good, that's the ultimate hypocrisy. That's the way I look at it.